Greetings everybody and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Episode 1, The Mage's Ascent. So, uh, this is our guy. Um, I've already gone ahead and done the uh, character creation um, and uh, I thought I'd go ahead and just do all that stuff off camera so you guys didn't have to you know, watch me pretty much do loads of sliders for like half an hour. And uh, this is our guy. Now, uh, this is a modded Let's Play and uh, this is a mod that I have is in the description. And the kind of purpose of this play is we're going to try and attempt to do it as a completely uh, a completely pure mage build. We're not going to be relying on any weapons unless they're bound weapons and we're not allowed any kind of armor at all. So we're only allowed to wear robes and uh, this is our guy. So uh, this guy is called Lucan Maximus. You know my, my name is Max so we had, to, we had to put Max in there somewhere. Uh, yeah. So uh, we uh, have arrived in Whiterun because we have heard of uh, a court wizard who may be able to teach us about magic. Now as a Breton we are very interested in magic although we weren't very gifted with uh, the arcane arts ourselves. So uh, we wanted to come to Skyrim because we heard there are many court wizards as well as the College of Winterhold where we may be able to go ahead and learn some magic. So this is our purpose for being in Skyrim and uh, we're just going to see how far we can get and how much of the arcane arts we can uncover. So. Let's get started, and uh, first of all, I think what we're going to do is we are going to head over to, I think it's this way we want to head over, we're going to go and head to the uh, Temple of the Dead, which is just up here, and I'm also going to collect these uh, mountain flowers as well, just so that we can go ahead and uh, use those for alchemy later, so let's go and get everything we have here. And we also have uh, some death bells as well. So let's go ahead and collect all that stuff. There we go. So let's collect all these. Because we can use those for uh, potions and stuff like that. As well as Thunder Cotton. There's loads of it around here so we can just collect it all. And uh, we're going to use that in Alchemy later. Because we're going to need to make our own potions. Because we don't start with much, honestly. We're not going to we're not gonna be starting with that much. So let's go ahead and collect everything we can around here. I think there's like death bells up here as well. Uh, lavender, there we go. So we'll collect all these alchemy ingredients first, and then we're gonna. Oh, nightshades, that's what they are. And we're gonna, gonna then pay the uh, Temple of the Dead a little bit of a visit as well. So is that all the. Uh, is all the nightshades here? Oh, spiky grass as well. Let's, uh, let's get that. So I think you get the uh, the grass pods and things. Let's go and get those things. There we go. I'll take, uh, I'll take your flowers. There you go. Cool. Works for me, and let's make sure we've not missed anything this side. Because yeah, in order to get started, um, we're obviously going to need to like level up our skills as we go, but it's not going to be easy. So let's go ahead and uh, get this done. And there's even some dragon tongues here as well. Nice. So I think they make potions of resist fire. So we've got tons of these things. Nice. Okay. So we're going to try a bit of alchemy as well a little bit later. See what we can do. And let's go ahead and make our way down here. Alrighty. So we are in the Hall of the Dead. So let's go and see. There's anyone in here? So you have a bit of a weird lighting issues going on there. I'm not sure. Seems to happen in buildings. I'm not sure. Um, it might be one of the uh, lighting mods that I have clashing with another one. So uh, looks like this guy is uh, deep in prayer. I will. Uh... When I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Oh dear. Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK, God of Life and Death? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. Tell me about him. Well, as I said, R.K. is the god of life and death. You'll find his temples and halls of the dead all across Tamriel. Priests of R.K., such as myself, perform rites for the dead and sometimes console the bereaved. Mm. We also keep a constant vigil against those who practice the vile arts of necromancy. I asked the question because I was hoping you might be able to help me recover something I've lost. Uh, well, what did you lose? My amulet of R.K. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Yeah, sure, I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Yeah, you you just wait you just wait here. You just wait here. Um, and let's go ahead and see what we can do. So I've already got my uh, spells and stuff equipped, so it's going to be uh, a little bit of uh, battling with skeletons. Just see if we can level ourselves up a little bit, and let's go and see what we can do here. So let's have a look around here. Oh, one skeleton. 
Right, is there more? I hear some more. Oh! Kill that guy, there we go, there's two. Oh, here's my one. Down he goes, there we go. No chance, Mr. Skeleton. Are there any more of these guys? No? Okay, I guess I can, uh, I guess I can search, see what they've got. He had an ancient or great sword. Um, I guess I could take these two uh, to sell, um, which might be quite good. So let's take all this stuff because we're not going to be using weapons, but you know, we can we can sell them. So we may as well uh, take the stuff that the skeletons have left behind. And let's see what he's got here. Another ancient old sword and some shields. There we go. So we'll take these to just sell, get rid of these. So we got to find this amulet. So let's go ahead and see what we can find here. There's a coin purse here. Go and take that. Got 21 gold. Oh, and an amethyst. Very nice. Okay, let's grab that. And there's also another one here, which has some more septums. Very nice. So we got a few septums from here. All right, let's go and search around these ruins. Uh, not ruins, sorry. It, it looks. It looks like I call them ruins because they look like ruins, like the, the ancient Nord ones. So we're going to have a search around here. So let's have a little look, see what's down here. Got bowls and things. Doesn't look like there's much over in this area. Hmm. Nah, nothing here. So the amulet isn't here, I believe. Here we go. All right. Is there anything else in here? No. Just like some cups and things. Right. Here's the amulet. There we go. Let's grab this thing for him. There we go. So we managed to return, uh, recover the amulet. So let's go ahead and uh, give it back to the guy. So we've taken care of the dead, recovered the amulets. So let's go and give it back. Maybe we'll get some gold for that. Because eventually, I want to go and see this court wizard and see if he can teach us some magic. So let's go ahead and see. Let's go and say hi to him, shall we? Hello. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Well, I found your amulet. Oh, thank okay. Please, take this gold for your troubles. Huzzah! We got 15 septums. Achievement get. Of RK be upon you. We are rich. Um, hello? Need something? Hmm. So she's, uh, oh, okay, so she just comes in. She looks like a vampire. Look, her eyes are glowing. I reckon she's a vampire. Ooh. Farewell. Hmm, hopefully she doesn't, uh, hopefully she doesn't bite my neck on the way out, but let's go ahead and, uh, so how much gold have we got now? Because we got a little bit here. I just want to see, um, exactly how much we have. So we have, um, 143 gold, so really haven't started out with much gold. But maybe we can, uh, use our alchemy skills, um, and then make some potions and things. So let's go and keep collecting these, uh, mountain flowers as well. So we got blue ones, purple ones. Sometimes these things are really finicky to grab, so let's just go and grab what we can around these, uh, little areas here there we go so we've got a few here and let's get the lavender because i believe some mountain flowers and lavender can be mixed to make conjuration potions which might be good for us and i think they fetch a fair amount of money as well so hopefully we can get some uh we can get some money rather quickly here so let's head down here again and we're going to see if we can sell those swords to uh the blacksmith as well let's go and grab these as well there we go so collect all the flowers there we go and take all the tundra cotton too there we go so plenty of these around. Right, is the blacksmith lady here? Doesn't look like she is. She's probably she's probably gone off somewhere. Oh well, I'll, I'll steal her flowers. That's fine. Let's go ahead and head inside War Maidens and see if there's Take anyone a good here. Look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Okay. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. All right, let's go and talk to this guy then and see if we can sell. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'm not really a, a steel wheeler, so the finest weapons let me see if I can sell you some stuff. Um, so what I want to do is go to my weapons here, and let's sell this. Uh, that gets us 11. Four for each of those. Steel dagger, again, I'm not really too worried about. And these iron shields, we can just go ahead and get rid of those, because we don't need any of that stuff. So you're welcome to Good those. Good doing business with you. There we go. So yeah, I found these in the Temple of the Dead. They are yours, good sir. Alrighty. So that's made us a little bit more gold. Maybe that'll be enough to buy uh, some new spells. I'm not sure, though. So why don't we go to Arcadia's Cauldron and see if we can go ahead and uh, do a little bit of alchemy. Let's uh, make sure we're grabbing these as well. As we find them, we just want to be grabbing them all. Stealing flowers. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> the first, the first petty crime that would start an onslaught of horrible, murderous crimes. Right. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Name. Right. Let's go inside Arcadia's Cauldron. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hello, Arcadia. Right, let's go and see if we can do some alchemy. And see what potions we can make. So, um, I don't know what gets what, but this is all the stuff we've managed to collect. So, let's go and see what we can do. So, let's try Blue Moon Flare and Bow Meal. Fortify Conjuration. There you go. 
Straight away. Interesting nice. Mixture. How about this in the Death Elf? Nothing. So we'll mix all these things and see what we get. Uh, grass pod doesn't do anything because we got so many of these blue mountain flowers that we can mix it with anything. There you go, fortify conjuration from lavender as well. How about a nightshade? Damage magic regen, so that also gets us poisons. That's pretty cool. Um, how about purple mountain flower? They don't mix at all. And how about tundra cotton and a blue mountain flower? None. Okay, so we're pretty much going to go through these in sequence and see what we can get from each of these. Because I have no idea which which mixes with what. I know there's like I know I can taste them and stuff, but I don't want to do that. Oh, damage health from the death bell and the nightshade. Nice. Okay, so that that makes some pretty good stuff. Let's try these two. Nothing. And tundra cotton. Nothing. All right. So these two. Nothing. So we got loads of dragon's tongues. Uh, they don't mix at all. They also don't mix at all. But we're getting our skills up slowly but surely. Perfumed flower. Nope. And uh, Tundra Cotton. Fortified Barter from Tundra Cotton and Dragon's Tongue. That's pretty cool. So we can actually sell our stuff to uh, get more cash. Nice, you actually. Tonics, that salves, might be one that we can consider later. On my so let's try these two. Ravage Magicka. Nice. That Ravage doesn't get us much. I'm just trying to look for what the best potion is uh, that we can get. Because then we can sell it in large quantities and get some gold from Arcadius. So that'd be good. Okay, there you go. And then... Lavender and a nightshade. Nothing. How about these two? More nothing and these two. Resist magic from tundra cotton and lavender. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's that's a good one for us as well. Uh, let's try nightshade and this. Nothing. And these two. Nope. And these two. No. Okay, so I think what we're going to do then is... Uh, these are the potions that we now discovered. So damage health. We got some poisons here. Um, I'd say resist magic is definitely our best option. So we're going to brew up a load of those. So let's go and get as many of those as we can. There we go. And fortified barter is a good one. There we go. So these guys can be done. And let's see what else there is here. We've got damage magic regen. I think damage health gets more. Um, so these two. Oh no, damage magic regen seems to get us a little bit more. So let's go and do that. There we go. Oh wow, that gets us 179. So these these ones are really potent. Let's go ahead and mix all those. Look at that. Nice. Is that it? And we're level up. Yay! So let's quit alchemy. And let's go ahead and level up. Hooray! We reached level 2. So, first thing we want to increase is, of course, Magicka. Because we're going to need a lot of that. So let's see what we can get. So we've got Ordinator on here. Um, and we're going to pretty much be focusing only on the perk trees so we could go ahead and do uh, the alchemy one over here for you know potions of poisons and things but i'm not really too worried about alchemy side of things i want to focus on i think uh destruction and get that started because uh, it's going to be our main form of damage right so let's go ahead and do destruction mastery so we uh cost 35 percent less magicka and they're 0.25 percent more powerful per level of destruction which is really nice so that'll actually give us a quick boost because we're already at level 30 in destruction so that's going to be really nice um, so there we go. So we've got plenty of stuff in destruction. Now we've also got different spells as well. So you can see that there is uh, ones like Force of Nature. Um, also elemental spells um, cost 30% less magical to cast in favorable weather. So you can do fire and earth in sun, frost and water in snowfall, and shock and wind in the rain, which is really cool, right? So we can uh, we actually have water magic and other types of magic that I want to get into um, as well. So uh, if we use favorable weather to our advantage, we can cost magicka for less. So that's pretty cool. So we've leveled up once, and we're actually halfway to level 3, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and talk to Arcadia then. And we're gonna sell her pale. all this stuff. Could be a taxia. So what have you got for sale? Take a look. Uh, let's see what we can sell her. So you've got all these potions that we managed to get. So let's go and see if we can uh, sell her as many of these as we can. So that'll get me a lot because she's actually got quite a lot of cash, and this should give me enough gold uh, to then go ahead and buy some spells. Look at that. So all those uh, all those potions gets us an easy way to get gold. So we can get rid of this conjuration. And resist magic gets us uh, 10 each. There we go. So we've, we've pl pretty much cleaned her out and we'll sell all that to her. And now we got loads of gold. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Hooray! So we are already making money from uh, alchemy. So that's really cool. So a lot of the stuff you can find in Whiterun can actually uh, get you quite a bit of cash. All right. Let's go ahead and head out here. So the next place I want to go to is, of course, Farangar. 
up in the Dragon's Reach. So we're gonna go ahead and head up here and see if we can uh, see if we can find him, and of course get more ingredients as we go as well. So you guys grab you guys because we can use these to make more potions and sell them. And if Arcadia runs out of money, we can go to the uh, general goods store and use those instead. So that's always good. So yeah, I think episode one should be called Picking Flowers. Okay. And there's some more lavender here. Okay. There we go. I just like listening to that guy. I think he's hilarious. Right, let's get up here. And we're going to go ahead to uh, Dragon's Reef then. And we're going to go and uh, see if we can find ourselves the court wizard. Maybe he will be here. Because I heard that he can sell a lot of good spells, which we're definitely going to want. All right, let's head inside. So let's go up here, and we should find him. In here, perhaps? Here he is. He's, uh, he's studying. Hello! Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss nope. the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Mm, no, not really. I came to kind of see if you had any magical spells. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Cool, so he does have spells, guys. Okay, so we got a little gold, so we should be able to afford a few. So see what spells he's got, um, and then we can go ahead and see what we can do. Um, so that's jury construction. So that's, that's conjuration. Let's see what they have here. Bone spirit, eh? Cast a ventral spirit that hones on the target and explodes for 50 points of magic damage to undead. Hmm. That could be pretty good, so we'll go and do that. Um, bound sword. So that will cast the sword for 120 seconds. So we can go ahead and use that. What I want to do, I think, is I want to use... I want to get candlelight here. Because that would be a good one to get. Let's see what we can uh, Let's see what we can do here. So Condra, Dread Eye Captain. That's pretty cool. Um, activate the captain to uh, dredge it up. Um, okay, so you can uh, you can store corpses in this thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we've got here. A Dramora Churley. Summons a Dramora Churl for six seconds. When killed, a Dramora Churl is summoned under control of the killer. Ah, okay. And, oh, an Earth Atronarch. Wherever the caster is pointing. That's cool. So we can actually, uh, the uh, Atronarchs also have, uh, have a thing as well. So I think what we'll do is, yeah, maybe we should do an Earth Atronarch. I'd, I'd be interested to see what an Earth Atronarch can do. Um, so let's do that. Uh, for some conjuration here. And uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Dragon's Teeth, Drop Zone, Fast Healing, that would be a good one. Let's grab that. And I think uh, Frenzy, if we've got it, or Fury, here we go. Let's go and do that one. Because that would be pretty good as well. That's uh, Fury is always a good one to do. Gust, a burst of wind does 8 points of damage per second to health and has a chance to blow away targets. That's pretty cool. So there's a load of different ones we can have here. And I think I want to concentrate. I want, I want to kind of use loads of different uh, elements. Um, so I think one thing I wanted to use is... Um, I think it's called Oak Flesh. Let's have a look. Um, Oak Flesh, here we go. Uh, so it improves the card's armor rating by 40 per 60 seconds. So we're going to do that. Uh, so we're going to pretty much buy all these good spells. Because there's a load of good stuff here. And let's see what else we got here. Raise wall, raise zombie. Rapids, I want that. Because um, the stream water does 8 points of damage per second to health and stops magic and stamina regeneration for 4 seconds. So that's pretty cool. So rapids might be a good one uh, to get as well. So yeah, we, we can try stuff like that. And there's, there's other things as well, like rock blast. Um, a stone does 26 points of earth damage to health and it stops health regeneration for 6 seconds and has a chance to stagger. That one could be good as well. Yeah, there's, there's, a, lot, there's a lot of good spells here. Um... Is there anything else I want to get before I go and do that? Uh, thought steel. Water rune. Water ball. Uh, or water ball. No water does 26 points of water damage to health. Actually, we should use... Uh, we could get water ball. That might be quite cool. Wild healing, wind rune, wither. Zephyr? A burst of air does 26 points of wind damage. Hmm. There's, a load of, there's so many good little spells here that we can try. Okay, why don't we try... Let's try concentrating maybe on water magic for, to, to begin with, and then uh, conjuring Earth Atronarchs. That would be pretty cool. Cool. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Hmm. Well, that's where I was planning on heading, but uh, that's quite far away for now. I'm probably not good enough to attend there just yet. So let's go ahead and learn these spells, because we got a load of new spells, and I want to see uh, if we can see which ones we can use. Um, so Bone Spirit, Candlelight, 
Earth Hatch Nark, Fast heal Healing. Wow, loads of these. Rapids, uh, Water Ball. There we go. Look at that. So let's go ahead and uh, equip this magic here. And uh, let's go and favorite the ones we want to use. So let's actually just choose all here. Um, okay, so let's go and just sort this out. So Fast Healing, I definitely want. Uh, Dragon Skin, that's our... Conjure Earth Atronite, we want that as well. That's pretty cool. So you can work on some Conjuration. Uh, Fury. So let's go ahead and do that. Oak Flesh. Rapids. And Water Ball. That's pretty cool. So let's see if we can conjure an Earth Atronach. I'll be uh, interested to see how that works. So let's do... Where is that? Conjure Earth Atronach. Go and see how that works. I don't know if it's going to make everyone hostile. So I'm going to probably do it outside. But maybe we can see how we uh, how we go here. Because I'd be interested. I don't even know if we can cast this thing. But let's let's try it. So I want to see what the Earth Atronaut looks like. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at this guy. He's like a Frost Atronaut, but he's really cool. Look at that. Look at this guy. He is beast. I love this guy. Okay. Let's try... Uh, no, let's try attacking him with a water spell. I want to see uh, what water ball is like. Okay. How much does that do? Okay, he's going he's gonna to come and attack me now? Yeah, he will. Oh, no, he won't. See, so you can actually use uh, water ball on this guy. Look at this guy. He looks so cool. There we go. We can go ahead and defeat him that way. So we can actually use this to train our destruction spells as well. That's really cool. So we can actually conjure a guy and then train our destruction. But yeah, water ball is pretty cool. Look at that. You can just fire a ball of water. That's really cool. So we've managed to get ourselves uh, some spells and stuff. So maybe we should go ahead and see if we can put our spells to use. Let's go to the Banned Mare. And maybe there'll be uh, some jobs we can do. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. All right. Let's uh, talk to the lady here. Is there something I can do for you? Hmm. Let's see. Does she have anything about work? Um. No, she doesn't. Wonder if she's had any rumors lately, though. Uh, there have been rumors of suspicious activity around Helgen. Legion patrols have been spotted in the area. So you got to travel to Helgen, eh? All right, we can do that. All right. So we've been given our first. Uh, we've been given our first thing to go ahead and, and travel to uh, Helgen. So. I'd call that a pretty good uh, first episode. We've got a ton of spells that we can use. I'll get those all organized up in uh, in my inventory and stuff and sort out the favorites menu and all that good stuff. So I think, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, end off the episode here. And in the next episode, we're going to travel down to... Uh, we're going to try and travel down to Helgen um, and see what is going on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!